today we wanted to show you how to make a quick and easy guacamole that you make yourself, you know everything that's in it. And this is one of those things when you realize you have an event that you've got to go to tonight and you're running out the door and you don't know what to bring. So. Which is actually what happened to me this morning with Jamie because I was thinking, hey, what are we going to make for our compass friends today? And as I ran out the door for work this morning, I thought, guacamole. So I got a lovely ripe avocado. You gotta be really careful cutting these things. Really, you know, it can be hazardous. That's what I've heard. From, if you've been in foundations, so, you know. All right, so what do I need to know about avocados? What are they good for me for? Well, they are very good in healthy fat. Very high in, remember we talked about fats a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, but I know, because usually people think that fat isn't good for you. Like, you should stay away from all fat ever. Right, right. However, this is the kind of fat that really nourishes your body. It makes your brain, oh, I need to tell you that, don't I? Jane, you know everything. <laughs> uh, it nourishes your brain, it helps your skin be more supple, it's good for your nails, and it's high in omega-3. And, and the thing I love about fat is it's very satisfying to the appetite. So this is a nice ripe one. If it's not ripe, it's not gonna work out well. It's so, true, because I need so to So Jane's gonna it. smash it really well. Also for avocados, we were talking about smoothies and I'll put an avocado in my smoothie and I find that it helps last uh, a lot longer than, I don't get as hungry as mm -hmm. well quickly as. And the texture when you put a smooth uh, avocado is so creamy, it's like drinking a milkshake. Thank you, dear. Right. Okay, so, and then this pico de gallo, you, it says, what are the ingredients on it? Or? Okay, now you're gonna wanna get a simple pico de gallo salsa that doesn't have a lot of ingredients, and that's what I love about this one from Trader Joe's. It's just tomatoes, onions, lemon juice, jalapeno, fresh cilantro, salt, and dehydrated garlic. So easy, you don't see that there's any chemicals, in this one so try to find one like that and I used to make I used to, oh, wait, do you want it more mashed no not for now okay um, I used to make guacamole from scratch and I still do at times but this is so good and my family said the other night this mom this is the best guacamole you've ever made that didn't feel so great but. <laughs> Well, no, it's great because then you can always just make the quick kind. It's very, you know, yeah, it's so very hard. easy, but I was working so hard and I was wishing that they would praise me for that. <laughs> so I just add a little bit more seasoning to it, a little bit of pepper. If you don't like pepper, that's fine. And I'm a fan of garlic. Does this have lime in it? No, it does lemon juice. Oh, lemon. Because mm -hmm. sometimes lime juice or cilantro is good as well. Hey, you remember this, right? Pink salt. Pink salt. And how many minerals in pink salt, Jamie? Uh, this is a test. Uh, yep. 14. I don't know. 14 plus 70. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. 84. I missed that class. Math class. Yeah. 84? 84, seriously. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, look fun. at this. Ooh. It's chunky. It's because I'm a good masher. It's a little chunky, creamy, <laughs> delicious. But you don't know that unless you taste it. Now, since I don't eat corn, I have tried these plantain chips. You can get these from Trader Joe's. And of course, you can eat this with vegetables. I love to do like a big vegetable tray and eat guac. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you eat way too much guac in that. Put it in a salad, eat it with tortilla chips. Yep, put it on your omelet. Oh, you wanna try? I do. Okay. Plantain chips, what are plantains? They are like a banana, but they don't taste sweet. Okay. They, they grow a lot like that in tropical places. A banana, that seems like an I know, thing. you're gonna think, your brain's gonna say banana chip, but it doesn't taste like it. Hmm. You like? I wonder if the cameraman wants to taste it. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Here we come, Dave. All right. There we go. Okay. Gotta Coming at ya. You're gonna like it. <laughs> Crunch. Oh, you're very good. Oh, very nice. I actually like plantain chips, so <laughs> well, sweet. Well. Okay, until next week. Bye-bye. Mm. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, it's so good. Who made this? Mm. It's really good. Can I have it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just take the bowl for ourselves. Right? See you later. <laughs> <laughs>